Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to be talking more about that big word, perspective, or how things look depending on where you are. Now the past week in our synchronous lesson, we talked a little bit about the different parts of a picture. When you're looking at a picture of say, uh, a field or a forest or maybe mountains and a river, we would call that a landscape image or maybe it's a painting. Now the things that are closest to you in that image, we would say that they are in the foreground area really, really close. We can tell they're in the foreground because that's where things are the biggest. Now things that are not quite in the foreground but right about here, we would say that these are in the middle ground. Not too close, but not too far. And the things way back here, you guessed it, they're in the background. We're going to be talking a little bit more about that today as we build our very own perspective farms. So let's get growing. Okay, for this project we're going to need a pencil, some paper, something to color with, and I guess a dark marker would be uh, helpful, whether it's a Crayola marker or a Sharpie. So we're going to start by drawing out a landscape. And since we're making ourselves a farm, I guess that you could call this a farmscape. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start with a horizon line. And a horizon line is where the sky meets the earth. So right up near the top of my paper, make sure my paper is turned this way, we call this landscape style. Near the top of my paper, but not all the way at the top, I'm gonna make a line all the way across. It doesn't have to be a perfectly straight line, just a nice straight-ish line. Here we go. Okay, so I've got my line straight across. Now, I am going to create a special point on my paper called a vanishing point. And I'm gonna go find, try to find right about the middle of that line, and I'm gonna make just a tiny dot. Not a big meatball, just a dot like that. And I wanna create lines from the bottom of my paper that connect all the way up to that little dot. So in order to do that, I need to make some dots near the bottom of my paper. So I'm gonna go down and right near the bottom, I'm gonna make one, two, three, four, maybe five dots. Now I need something to connect this dot all the way to that dot. Each of these dots is gonna get connected to that one, that vanishing point dot. Let's see, I wonder what I could use. If you have a ruler at home, that is a great tool for this part. Uh, I don't have a ruler right now, so I'm gonna find something else. Huh, look at this, I've got a Spider-Man comic here. The Spider-Man comic has a nice straight edge. I bet I could use this the same way I would use a ruler. Make sure that you are holding your straight edge down tight with your tool hand. That's the hand that you don't write with. Let's see if I connect, can connect these two dots. Wow, that works pretty good. I'm gonna do that for the other ones. All right, so now I've got my one, two, three, four different rows for my vegetables. Now this is a farm field. You can imagine this is the sky up here. These are the fields where maybe there's, where there's grass or there's corn growing. I wanna think about what can I grow in these four different rows? Well, I know it is the fall, so that means that pumpkins are in season. So I'm gonna make one row of pumpkins. Now notice how this row right here starts off really big and then gets smaller and smaller and smaller. We're gonna start with our foreground pumpkin. So I'm gonna make a pumpkin shape right in here, but I don't want my pumpkin to go past these lines. So here's a stem and I will add some pumpkin lines. Okay, hmm, I wonder what else I can grow on my farm. Um, oh, I know, maybe in this row, I'll have some nice sunflowers. So for my sunflower, I'll make a small circle and some nice big petals. And in this row, I'm gonna have this be a row of broccoli. So for my broccoli, I'm gonna make a bushy top and then some stems that come down to the bottom. Make sure that your shapes are almost going to the edge of those lines. And my last row, hmm, what do I want for my last row? 
I think this is gonna be a row of tomatoes. So for my tomato, it almost looks like a pumpkin. I'm gonna make a nice big circle like this. Oh, that's a big tomato. And they've got a nice top to it like that. So here are my four different crops. Now these, I would say, are in my foreground. They're the objects that are closest to me. Next, I'm gonna start making my different vegetables uh, again, but I need to make them even smaller. So let's draw another pumpkin right here, but this time even smaller. All right, there's my next row of crops. I'm gonna make as many as I can that they're gonna go all the way down towards our vanishing point. Let's see how many I can do. Whew, wow, that's a lot of vegetables. So we know that these things that are in our foreground are really close to us. The things that are really tiny, we would call those in the background and everything in between is sort of the middle ground. Now, it's time to add some more details to our farm. So, hmm, maybe I'll include a barn way over here. All right, so my sketch is pretty much complete. You can see that I've included some farm animals. I've got a cow in the middle ground and a smaller cow in the background. I've got a pig in my middle ground and a smaller pig in the background. And way back here, we see a farm. Uh, there's the barn, we got a silo. And I thought it would be nice if I made it a nice sunny day. So maybe I'll do some a sunrise and some clouds. And now all I gotta do is Carefully go over my lines with a black marker and add some color. Here we go. All right, so for this perspective drawing, I think I'm gonna do a combination of both crayons and markers, but you can color it however you'd like. Right, and my farm is complete. You can see it's a nice sunrise morning on the farm. The cows are mooing, the pigs are oinking, and all the vegetables are growing. We've got our foreground vegetables, our middle ground vegetables, and our teeny tiny background vegetables. I can't wait to see what kind of things are on your perspective farm. Make sure that you post a picture of what you make to Seesaw and we'll discuss it at our next Zoom meeting. Thanks so much for watching and have fun.